Hi guys, this is Ola from Cardpond. In today's video, we're going to be creating our direction button for our controller pad. It's going to be very short, and but it's also going to be very interesting. In this video, we are going to use the freeform tools and then using those tools, we'll be able to create the features which we need. To begin, we we'll first look at the reference images. Um, see this. So we we'll look at the reference images to look at the kind of button we want to create. Go to Xbox Series X controller and reference files. All right. So taking a look at this, we notice um, the weird <laughs> um, feature here. It's not a usual um, cross shape, but it has not a complex feature or shape, but it's not the usual geometry. So that's what we're going to be creating and it's going to be very simple. Um, therefore, to begin, I begin by creating a new folder within our Xbox Series X folder and I'll call this buttons as buttons buttons okay open this and cancel new design all right so from the previous sketches used to create these features, if we check over here and our first sketch, I have obtained the dimensions that will be needed. So for this now, I know the diameter of this part is 26 millimeters. So it makes my work easy to work with. And also the thickness of our controller pad is um, one millimeter, no 1.5 millimeter as the thickness of the case shelling. Hence, we put those dimensions in our minds or write them down and then we use them to create our features. Firstly, I go to create form and select on cylinder. I select on the top plane and pick my center point. I'll just drag it out and come over here to insert my dimensions. It's 26 millimeters in diameter. The diameter faces we need, we choose it, and the height shouldn't be that large. So the thickness is 1.5. So let's say this should be around something like six i suppose six millimeters and the height faces let's go with three all right all right all right okay at this point um what we have is this i would go ahead to delete some faces um but before i do that i create symmetry i select on this face and carefully select the opposite face which is this so we see that they are selected properly and i say okay i repeat the same process select on this now and say okay all right so at this point what we're going to do is i would select on modify i will double click on this bottom or the third line and go to front view just drag it down i repeat the same process for this and drag it down all right so with that done okay i select on one of these faces hold on to my alternate button in my top view I select on this um, planar extrusion while holding the alt button and I drag inwards 
I'm using my eyes to rationalize um, where I should stop. So I would say here. I repeat the same process for this top line and hold on to the alternate click and drag in this way all right all right all right so with this the next thing for us to do is going to be to merge edges i'll go to modify merge edge i think no weld vertices yeah i select on one and two so we have this and okay so um if your geometry changes its view to this um, form you have nothing to be worried about the next thing for us to do is to go to face i select on you could use multiple sides or four sides but i'll just choose multiple um first edge of vertices second vertices third vertices fourth vertices simply because we are using multiple I have to select on the first vertice again to close this place up. So I select on this. With this done, okay. Now we see what we have. It looks nice. All right, so at this point, I would like to take it back to the boxy view. I'll hold on to my alternate key and click on one. All right, all right, all right. And then, I go to modify this middle face I go to front view and just drag it downwards I'm not really sure how much I should drag it but I guess three millimeters I think it should be enough yeah so we use that and then this so I'll move this up right now double click on this and take it up just a little bit all right okay and now i can delete these faces at this point we go back to plain creation i'll select on this and still using multiple sides remember that we have already created symmetry so i'll select my first second third and return back here I'll do the same for this side and return here and then lastly for this great all right okay so with this done i hold on to alternate and click on three and we have it back in this view however this is not necessarily how that button looks but this is nice <laughs> um to make it better i would go to modify and click on crease so we create crease for this and this edge all right we repeat the same process here noting that it has been um, mirrored to this part so i'll do the same here one and two all right and lastly i'm going to crease these edges here one two you could leave yours that way i mean if i um undo that let's see could look nice so if you're if you're trying to have something that looks like this then <laughs> no problem um but in our case we want it to look as close as possible to the original um design However, you notice here that these um, buttons are smaller than this. Um, that's not difficult to control. So I'll select on one of these face, these lines. Click on this um, planar move button and just move it around till I'm satisfied. <laughs> All right. So let's see something. I think my eyes are playing with me. I'll just I think this is okay yeah this looks good all right okay guys so at this point we have this and then the next thing for us to do is to close what we have under I go back to face 
and select on the vertices one two three four five six seven eight and back to the first point um at this point we have these but it's in a different kind of you know shape so we would simply go to modify and crease so i select on the bottom faces and use the crease tool okay so now we have this i think it looks pretty good let's compare that with what we have here it's not entirely the same <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad either so we should be able to um, cope with that all right so at this point with this done i would say finish form having finished our form we add extra features and that will be um let's say this way i go to create sketch back on the top plane remember that we created a um cylinder for the free form from that top lane so it makes it easy for what we're about to do next i create a new circle the former diameter was 26 so this time around we're going to use 29 i guess so a diameter of 29 um and then finish sketch we extrude with the extrusion i take it up a little bit up to the point where um it's somewhere around here we remember that the overall um distance of this was about um six millimeters right so we know that the button um gets up to this point here three millimeters and what i mean is that from this um flat face here upwards in our design is three millimeters however we still have a little bit of space below it so that's what we are going to try to do since the thickness of our body is 1.5 please don't mind my weird calculation you can just follow with what i'm thinking about so the thickness of the um controller casing is 1.5 um so let's see 1.5 is taken 1.5 um this way would be covered in thickness hence what we would do we create join and we take it upwards going two sides we take it upwards by let's say 0 0.5 and take it the other direction by one trust me it's going to work <laughs> and we say okay all right so at this point this is what we have um i hope this has been a little bit enlightening and that you enjoyed it in the next video we're going to create the main action buttons which are the x y b and a and those um, buttons are also very simple and i'll see you in the next one in the meantime if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do if you like the things that you have seen so far do not hesitate to leave comments click on the like button and if you would like to have notifications when new uploads are made you can take it a step further to click on the notification bell. Alright, so since we're done, our next step is going to definitely be to save our part. And I'll call this direction button. Alright, so it's saved on that buttons and click on save. Alright guys, this is where we end for now. And I would see you in the next video. Hi there. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And if you are yet to subscribe, it takes you just about 3 seconds to click on the button 
and select the notification bell so you get updates when new uploads are made. Alright, that's all for now. See you in the next video.